For best results, I suggest starting with a few minutes of deep diaphragmatic breathing. But let's go ahead and start. Follow along with me. Feet straight ahead, about shoulder width apart, knees soft, pelvis in neutral. And let's just begin rotating the hips, letting the shoulders come along for the ride, letting the arms ragdoll. Continuing deep diaphragmatic breathing, filling up the belly, the sides and back of the rib cage with air, inhaling through the nose, and either out of the nose or out of the mouth. As this starts to get a little more vigorous, exhaling through the mouth, it may be essential, may be necessary. And then I actually also like taking a long, relaxing, softening exhale through the mouth to open up my body. And now let's just reach over, laterally flexing. I want you to keep some engagement in the glutes. Keep the tail tucked. Inhale through the nose, exhale as you reach over. This is a portion where I like to exhale through the mouth because I feel like it will help relax, lengthen, and soften the tissue that we're trying to get into here. Notice how I pull the elbow back to spring myself elastically back over. go back to rotation here but this time I'm gonna let my feet pivot so that I can turn a little bit more arms are still totally loose totally relaxed ragdolling pivoting on the ball and big toe bracing my cord about 30% or so, just so there's still some stability within the core, supporting the spine. Allowing the rib cage to travel beyond being in alignment with the pelvis. Here, we're going to take a moment to find that neutral pelvis and we're going to have our knees straight but not locked out here. So just a little bit of softness in the knees. Let's take a big breath in to prepare and then on the, excuse me, on the exhale let's tuck the chin and we're going to begin to forward, uh, we're going to begin to articulate the spine one vertebrae at a time down. Big breath in. Slowly, one vertebrae at a time, not forcing anything, coming to a full hand. Let's take another couple of breaths here. Fill up the belly and the back of the rib cage and the kidneys with air. Use the inhale to increase the perceived intensity of the stretch in the lower back and then the hamstrings. And then use the exhale to relax, soften, and lengthen the tissue. We're going to take one more breath and on the exhale we're going to begin bouncing. Just 
just do it along with me. Big breath in, expand the belly, the back of the rib cage, and the kidney area. And then on the exhale, let's begin bouncing. Just a bouncing into flexion. Staying relaxed. Do a little check to make sure that the arms and shoulders are relaxed, that the neck's relaxed, the face is relaxed. Hips and legs are staying still in space. I'm just doing a little gentle bouncing. My hands are like a mop, wiping the floor. Still taking deep breaths, allowing each exhale to unwind and lengthen the spine. Each vertebrae separating just a little more with each exhale. Okay, now keeping the hips in place, we're just going to rotate at the base of the spine, feeling the rib cage rotate. Arms, shoulders, head, neck, relax, soften the face. Gently pushing the knees back, not forcing anything. And then we'll do some lateral flexing of the spine, still keeping the hips in place, in space, but just laterally flexing the spine, letting the arms hang relaxed, just tracing circles around my feet. Once again, soften the face, soften the neck. Don't hold any tension in the back of the neck trying to look up at anything. Just look back through your legs. Use the inhale. To build some internal tension, use the exhale to relax, soften, and lengthen the tissue. Okay. Big breath in to prepare. And exhale. And tuck the tail. And we're going to begin coming up one vertebrae at a time, stacking each vertebrae one at a time on top of the one before, keeping the chin on the chest. Tucking the tail, squeezing the glutes to support this. Letting the shoulders stack upon the rib cage. Taking the chin off the chest last. Stacking the martial crown, the very top of the head, on top of the spine. And then let's take a moment here to find neutral pelvis, long flat spine, lower back. Shoulders back. Maybe take a few moments here just to check in with the spine and the pelvis. Feel free to go back through this whole sequence again, or maybe just through portions like the forward fold, whatever felt constructive for you. We've now unwound the spine. <laughs> 